This week's warm up for hip mobility is a hip airplane. Uh, it's helpful if you find something uh, either the back of a chair, a table, fence, uh, dresser to put your hands on to help you balance. Uh, the goal is to extend one leg behind you and then rotate that leg away from your body to open your hips up. And then before bringing the leg back to your start position, rotate it back to that position where your toe points straight down toward the floor. This week's shoulder mobility warm-up exercise is going to be a resistance band halo. Now you don't have to do this with the resistance band. If you have one, you could use either the zero or the number one band. Uh, if you have a baseball bat, a broom, a uh, stick, you could do this with a, one of those options as well. I'm going to find a tall kneeling position. So on your knees, toes pressed down into the floor. Abs are tight, butt squeezed, and take your hands all the way out to the end of the band, and nothing moves except your shoulders. in one direction before switching sides. lower body stability program will be using the number zero band uh, or if you're a bigger person or prefer more resistance you can use the number one band you can also again just like previous weeks use a broomstick or a bat instead of the banded resistance The dynamic component to this week's lower body exercise is going to be kneeling squat jumps. First upper body strength exercise is a decline row. You're going to find either a table or a piece of furniture or at, like I'm using, a set of bleachers uh, in which you can uh, support your body weight in a plank position and then pull yourself up to the uh, base of the object. 
um, in a rowing manner, pulling your shoulder blades together and down at the same time. If you don't have an object that you can use uh, to support yourself for a decline row, I'm going to show you a row variation that you can use using uh, either one of the resistance bands that I recommend you order for our workouts. Um, best is to find an attachment site, uh, either a doorknob, a uh, fence, cabinet door, something really sturdy uh, that you can attach the band to, uh, and you'll do a uh, banded row using the same muscles. This week's workout, we're adding a dynamic core engagement exercise uh, that we're going to be using with the uh, either the number zero or number one band. Uh, you're going to attach the band uh, below hip height, so around your knee height, uh, to either a stable cabinet or a door or fence if you have one. Um, make sure it's really sturdy and that you're not going to be able to slip it off. Stagger stance, one foot behind the other, uh, with the back foot on the side of the band, and take your hand on the side of the band in uh, through the band. Step a little further away from the band so that you're not quite arm's distance apart away from it, and then reach your other arm and hold on to your first hand, one hand over the other. Square your hips up with the direction you're looking and extend your arms. 